Hi, this is Alex from Minute Earth. Farmers are obsessed with water. It makes sense. Their livelihoods depend on crops that will die without enough water. So lots of farmers buy expensive equipment to pump tons of water to their fields. In fact, of all the water humans use, 70% is for agriculture. But here's an even crazier thing. Lots of farmers also spend tons of effort and tons of money dewatering their fields. That's because too much water is also deadly for crops. All plant cells need oxygen to function. The cells above the ground take it from photosynthesis or from the air around, and the cells underground take it from tiny air pockets in the soil. But if the soil is too wet for too long, the roots can literally drown, killing the entire plant. Plus, wet fields cause tractors to get stuck and to compact the soil, which reduces both the amount of air in the soil and the space for roots to grow. To save their crops from these problems, farmers around the world have dug ditches and installed special underground pipes to drain excess water away. As a result, the soil has enough space in it for roots to grow and enough air for roots to breathe. Crops survive, tractors don't get stuck, and overall productivity increases. However, draining water away more quickly means that it reaches nearby streams and rivers more quickly, where it can speed up the flow and contribute to floods. And floods can damage infrastructure and erode river banks and river bottoms, creating deep channels and muddying the water downstream. Plus, the water coming from the fields can carry chemicals from fertilizer and pesticides, which end up polluting rivers, lakes, and eventually oceans. These problems caused by drainage can be mitigated somewhat by applying fertilizer and pesticides precisely where and when the crops need them. We can also send the water through trenches filled with wood chips or buffers of native plants, both of which can filter out some of the chemicals before the water flows into a nearby stream. And we can also retrofit the underground pipes to slow down the flow of water when it's okay to have a wet field, like when we're not growing crops. But there is another huge problem with drainage. It's helped us turn wetlands into farms. Wetlands are incredibly valuable because in addition to providing habitat for fish, birds, and other creatures, they also act like giant sponges that prevent floods and filter the water, making it cleaner for everyone downstream. In the last 200 years, over half and maybe even over three quarters of the world's wetlands have disappeared and been replaced mostly with farmland. So thanks to drainage, we get new and more productive farmland, which helps us grow lots of extra crops. But we also lose wetlands and gain some new problems. And unfortunately, gaining the benefits without any of the downsides may be a pipe dream. This video was sponsored by the University of Minnesota, where students, faculty, and staff across all fields of study are working to solve the grand challenges facing society. One of these challenges is assuring clean water and sustainable ecosystems, and part of the solution is to reduce the amount of pollution from agricultural runoff. Professor Jacques Finlay and postdoc Christy Dolph in the College of Biological Sciences, along with collaborators, have found that if we restored wetlands in strategic locations where they could intercept lots of water, they'd be three times more effective at removing pollution than wetlands restored elsewhere. Professor Michael Sadowski in the Department of Soil, Water, and Climate is identifying the bacteria that remove chemicals from water sent through wood chip trenches. An adjunct professor, Heidi Peterson, in the Department of Bioproducts and Biosystems Engineering is collaborating on a project to filter and retain drainage water using a wetland at the edge of a field. Thanks, University of Minnesota.